the history of the Rib King is, is that we wanted to do a lot of ribs. And in South Carolina, ribs, barbecue is considered chopped barbecue, not ribs. So we started venturing into the north, up in the Ohio and Pennsylvania. Now we're as far as uh, Canada and all the way up to Boston, Minnesota. So we travel extensively just selling ribs. Can you tell us a little bit about the ribs, the preparation? Well, I use my own blends of spices. We try to let it sit for about three hours. Sometimes it only sits an hour. But we put it with the combination of the pecan wood and our fried and joy sauce. And you come out with the best darn ribs you can put your lips on. Well, you're the defending champ, so I guess you can uh, talk the talk, but you're also walking the walk. Hey. Can you tell us a little about that sauce, Mr. Williams? It's sweet. It's got some garlic in it. It's, uh, it's got just a little kick to it. You know, you, you eat a bone and then you say, ooh, that little kick, it gets a little louder, a little louder as you go along. Yeah. So I think that's the secret. It, it keeps playing with your palates. It, it just keeps, it doesn't like you bite something, okay, it goes away. No, it keeps, it keeps coming, it keeps coming. I said, whoa, five minutes after you already eat a bone, he said, hmm, it's still coming. <laughs> All right. So, is there any way besides uh, people uh, being here at the Rib Fest uh, around the nation that they can get a hold of your sauce? Oh, yeah. You can email me at ribking at bellsauce.net. Or uh, you can just give me a call. Just always get the chamber. The chamber can get my number from the promoter. And uh, you can just call me and I'll ship it to you. Sounds great. All right, uh, Solomon Williams, thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to give you some of those grips right now. I'm ready to chow down. You just remember when your living's on the line, your grilling's better be fine. Ha, ha, ha.